What's good, y'all? Uh, so I guess we are up to episode eight on average is failure. Um, one of the things that I really wanted to talk to you all about this episode, I just wanted to. Th- so there's a lot of information, and I think society has tripped us up quite a bit in making us think that uh, greatness and success is all about being extraordinary. Um, and I'm gonna challenge that. I'm gonna challenge that idea uh, quite a, a a little bit uh, in saying that most success and most when we talk about greatness is probably not really in the um, the the extra extraordinary. Truthfully, um, but what, think about it. This world operates, and most things that have long lasting success operate on a principle of um, being able to be consistent and have longevity, right? And of course, we do see a few instances where maybe somebody becomes great because of a short spike or what have you, you know, of greatness. And so maybe they have name recognition for a long period of time. But I think that the people who really make an impact um, and who, uh, you know, build things that last for a long time and have the greatest impact even though we may not always hear about it are those who um, understand that you know there's a lot of power in ordinary and that there's nothing wrong with the ordinary so when I think about the New England Patriots and by all means I am not a fan of the New England Patriots but when I think about the New England Patriots they have never struck me as the team that has ever been flashy um, or, or, or nobody's kind of struck me as this person that has like a highlight reel, right? So even when Tom Brady, you know, throws a pass, it's not like the passes seem all that like crazy to me or when their players catch passes, you know, the, the pass, the, the catch doesn't always seem now, of course there have been a few, right? In this last uh, Super Bowl, there certainly was one that was kind of like, yo, how did he catch that? But I felt like the... Uh, Atlanta Falcons had way more amazing catches, right? But yet it was the New England Patriots that won the championship. When I think about the San Antonio Spurs, maybe they haven't won the championship each and every year, but they've certainly won quite a bit of championships uh, compared to any other team. And they've probably been the team that has more consistently than any other team in the NBA over the past 20 years been somebody who's been mentioned as a potential contender for the championship. So, um, so, and the thing about that is that there's nothing, Kawhi Leonard doesn't do anything flashy. Tim Duncan, when he was in the league, didn't do anything flashy. Um, sometimes uh, Ginobili and sometimes Tony Parker had uh, flashes of like, flat, or, 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 or moments of flashiness, but not, it didn't even seem like it was something that they were trying to do. They weren't trying to make things look flashy. It was just what they did made sense for uh, the moment. You know, the move they made made sense for that particular moment. It just looked flashy to us. And so I'm just saying all of that because I think when we talk about our work lives, when we talk about those of you who um, might uh, work a nine to five or for those of you who might work in a business, sometimes the tendency is to think that because I don't have the flashiness of somebody over there, um, maybe I'm not doing as well, or maybe I'm not doing great. And no, I think greatness is your ability to come in day after day and do a job and do the job the way it's supposed to be done. You know, none of us would. Well, let's take a look at the at our solar system. You know, let's take a look at the moon. Let's take a look at the sun. Let's take a look at the rotation of the Earth. Like these are things that we expect to. Um, to be constant and consistent because if they're not then everything is going to get messed up right um and it can can you imagine i was thinking this the other day i was like imagine if you know a house let's take say for instance right let's just imagine that uh houses were not consistently where we expected them to be right and they just kind of just went off and did their own amazing things all the time right and so sometimes they'd be here and sometimes they'd be there, right? But just all gallivanting, doing amazing things, we'd all just be like, yo, like, 
what is going on here, right? Now, of course, when we talk about ordinary, now, sometimes you can find to be great at the ordinary, or you can make ordinary things great. So think about it. Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Steph Curry, uh, Kevin Durant, there are a bunch of guys who are able to do the simple thing in the NBA of hitting a shot, right? It's ordinary. I can hit a shot. You know, people all around the world can hit a shot. But what's made them great is that they've practiced this ordinary thing really so much that it's become extraordinary. The, the level at, or, or let me say, the consistency with which they're able to do something ordinary has um, become amazing, right? When I think about some of my favorite mu musicians, uh, Thomas Pridgen, um, uh, Tony Royster, um, um, Ronald Bruner Jr., and many others, you know, their ability to play drums, they're not doing it. Almost anybody in the world can take a stick and hit a drum, right? But... The consistency with which they're able to do do it, you know, um, and it just far surpasses what any of the rest of us uh, think, right? And then they put it together, and because they're able to be consistent, they can do it faster and faster, and and uh, and, and, uh, and make it a bit more tricky. But when it comes down to it, it's just ordinary mo movement of hitting a stick, right? So. Um, I'm going to leave it there, man. Just think about what that means for you on the job. Think about what that means for you in your business. How can you be? How can you just uh, become very consistent at doing the ordinary things and, and then be so consistent with it and so um, excellent with it that without even realizing it, you become great at it, all right? Um, McDonald's, truthfully, there's nothing really amazing about McDonald's like that except that McDonald's is able to meet the need that it's supposed to meet, meet on a consistent basis, all right, and positions itself on a consistent basis to meet the need, right, so um, I'm going to leave it there for now, uh, average is failure, so uh, uh, once again, just because something is ordinary does not mean that it is average, there's beauty in the ordinary, all right, so peace out, this is born.